Hello everyone, welcome to 3ddesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about the difference between a radius and chord option. So in Alias, there are several tools which distinguishes between the radius and the chord options, and one of which is the surface fillet. So if you go here, you'll see that the construction type, actually, let me just reset. Um, you can choose either radius or chord. And you might be wondering what the difference is. Now, this is the same for curve fillet. So if you go to curve fillet, it also has a construction type. You can say uh, radius and chord. Now, let me show you guys the difference between the two. So uh, first of all, let me just uh, set the radius, uh, set it to radius, and I'm just going to make it simple and set it to G1 circular. And for the radius size, I think 100 is good. And I'm just going to see uh, do that and I'm also going to set the trim type to automatic so that it automatically trims I'm going to be doing the same thing except this time I'm going to set it to chord and with the chord length 100 like this now there is a little size difference on um, what uh, the general shape is uh, looks uh, the general shape looks uh, very similar so what is the difference between the two Radius, uh, as the name suggests, measures the radius of the curve. So it is based on the radius of this uh, fillet over here. So if I were to, actually let me, I'm just going to measure this so using curve curvature. So I'm going to say min max radius. So what it measures is the radius of this one. As you can see, it says max radius is 100. Well, it's not exact exactly 100 but it's pretty close so what this does is basically if i were to create a curve or a circle i should say uh, let me just bring this up i'm just going to create a radius 100 circle so i'm just going to set this to 100 and whichever point it intersects as you can see between this one this curve and this curve and the circle Basically, this is how a radius fillet is created. Chord, on the other hand, it measures the distance between this point, the tangent point, or the tangent line. Well, if it was a 3D object, it would be called a tangent line. I don't know what it's called over here, but basically it uh, measures the distance between the beginning of the fillet and the end of the fillet. So if I... Is, uh, if you remember, I set this as 100. So, and this circle, actually, uh, let me just do a measurement. So if you look at this, this is a 100 mil radius circle. And wherever it intersects, basically that sets it up for the 100 mil fillet. And for the cord, what I need to do is I just need to measure the distance between here and here. And that is what determines the size of the cord fillet. So if I were to make this all 200 instead of 100, and I just say update, the distance between this point and this point is going to be 200. Same thing over here. If I were to change the radius to 200, you'll see that it's uh, become bigger, and I'm just going to increase the size of this. And if, you, if I just try to match it as closely as possible, Basically, this is a 200 mil circle or tube, whatever you want to call it. And wherever this curve intersects with the circle is it uh, is how it gives us the size. Now, things work a little bit differently when you are talking about a curvature fillet. Because, let me just go back to, to the curve fillet tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just, well, actually, let me just set this back to 100 so it's a little bit easier to compare. And I'm just going to get rid of this curve. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the curve fillet again. And this time, instead of G1 circular, I'm going to set it to, oh, actually, let's start with the radius. And I'm going to say G2 curvature and specify center radius, and I'm going to set this as 100. So let's do this. And as you can see, you'll see that it's much bigger than G1 tangent circular curvature, uh, G1 circular. 
and I'm going to explain to you a little bit. And uh, before I do that, let me just make sure that I do the same thing for this one. So I'm just going to create a cord fillet, cord construction, and I'm going to instead of G1, I'm going to say G2, and you'll see uh, you'll be able to see the difference. With the cord fillet, it is curvature, but the chordal distance is exactly the same. So let me just do a measurement. So if I measure to, if I were to measure uh, this was here and here, it's 100. Here and here, it's still 100. The only difference is it's a uh, tangent uh, G1 tangent curve, uh, G1 tangent fillet, and this is a G2 fillet. The radius on the other hand, it is a little bit different. The tangent line is quite different because this is the minimum radius. So if I were to do a curve curvature like this, you'll see that the smallest point, the smallest radius is 100, whereas because this is going to curvature, it's going to be become much bigger. So let me just try to create a circle, 100 mil. Now, when it comes to curvature and radius, uh, the radius fillet, I guess it's sort of pointless because what it's trying to do is just at the center, the smallest point is going to 100 mils. But because it is curvature, basically the radius, uh, the, uh, the radius size is going to become much larger as it tries to connect curvature to this curve over here. So here is a theoretical difference. Um, but how does it apply in 3D? So let me just hide all these curves and I'm just going to delete all the locators. So here is a more practical difference. Now that we've gone through the theoretical part of it, let's go through the uh, more practical application difference between the two. So as you, as I said before, basically uh, with the radius option, basically it's trying to create a tube that is 100 mils so let me just do that. So I'm going to say G1 circular radius 100 mils and tube and wherever it intersects is where it's going to create a tangent line. So let's go ahead and create a fillet. So I'm just going to say edge line and edge line. You'll see that the fillet has a little bit of cone shape. And the reason why is because um, actually, uh, let's see if I can just extract the curves to make so that it's a little bit easier to see. Okay, so we got the two curves over here and I'm still going to create a 100 mil curve over here. Now, the reason why it's, uh, it's coning is because if I just do this, you'll see that it matches somewhere over here like that. I know it's not super exact, but I would say it's close enough. And for the rear edge, because the angle of the curves is like opening up a little bit more, you'll see that the intersection point is somewhere over here instead of right here for the front edge. So that is why you see the difference between uh, the front edge and the rear edge because the rear edge uh, the surface is uh, the surface edge is opening up. Now that is going to be a little bit different for quarter fillet. So I'm going to say cord. It's going to be G1 circular. I'm going to say 100. You'll see that despite the changing angle, the distance between here and here is exactly the same. So let me just do a measurement. So I'm just going to measure here to here. You will see that, well, it's not super exact, but it is about 100 if you round it up. And that is the difference. Okay, so that's the difference between radius and chord options with the various tools in Elias. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.